First tonight, the devastating impact that COVID is still having on education. While much of the pandemic talk now focuses on reopening foreign travel and lifting restrictions, schools are still struggling. Across the UK, 375,000 school children are not in lessons. It's up by 130,000 in just a week. But only 4% of those children actually have COVID. For the rest, it's a precaution. And this is why campaigners are calling for a change to the system, so as few young people as possible miss out on classroom learning. But if bubbles are scrapped, what's the safety net? Sam Reid reports. Classrooms are usually bustling with noise and activity. Not at the moment at Tithe Farm Primary in Houghton Regis, where many of the classrooms lay empty. Nursery, reception, year one and year two are at home because children or staff are having to self-isolate. Remote learning isn't the same. Head teachers have a difficult job. A positive case here under current government guidance means a whole bubble, often a whole year group, has to self-isolate. We are reacting to situations that are changing daily and hourly, um, so it is really difficult. And I think in terms of teacher well-being and workload, this is the time where the workload is at its highest because they're trying to do two jobs at once. There should be 27 children in this classroom right now, but with them all at home, that means 27 sets of parents and guardians with difficult decisions to make. Then for those that work, well, that's a whole load of businesses and employers who are impacted too. At Cranfield Church of England Academy, lessons went on as normal today, but children everywhere have become veterans of being sent home. 1,500 child days in school have been lost here since September because of bubbles self-isolating. This group would rather be together. Do you get more education than you would at home and you get more help? Well, I like seeing my friends all the time and then I can play with them and then when I'm stuck I don't really have to just sit there. And we can go out and like play on the big field outside and we have loads of fun. The government's looking at relaxing rules on children self-isolating. Here, the head wants some detail. All we want in our school is clarity uh, for September. And, and what we want to do is to deliver our vision for our children every day. And we can't do that in a world of bubble closures, temporary isolations, weekend emails, closing classrooms and so on. When that routine will return to classrooms like this is another difficult decision the government is having to make. Well, tough for primaries like this one. The stats show it's even more difficult in secondaries right now. The government has been trialling removing these self-isolation rules in some schools, including parts of Milton Keynes. And tonight, the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, saying he wants these bubble rules lifted as soon as possible. Some suggestion that could be July the 19th, the next unlocking date, but that is not confirmed. And of course, by then, we are basically at the summer holidays. Janine. Thank you, Sam.